Hi, this is Peter Schulz, developer of WordPress plugin WP Data Access. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can create a simple registration form. I have already created um, a create table statement, uh, which is right here in my uh, editor. And uh, what I'll show you is how you can use this create table statement to create uh, a table directly from the Data Explorer. So just move to the data explorer and click on uh, import data execute scripts then select your sql file import it and then the table is created let's check if it's there there's my table okay now if you want to change uh, column settings like uh, first name last name oh Uh, like uh, uh, date of birth then these uh, will be reflected in your uh, registration form of course as well you can also uh, add other features uh, but let's focus on the registration form for this uh, tutorial now um, the next step is we are going to create a data project. So let's create a data project uh, which we just call a registration form. It's already there. Um, I'm not going to add this to the menu because the registration form will be available uh, from a web page only. So I'll save it and then, uh, um, then save it again to create a page. Uh, now I'm going to add a new page which is called a registration form, just uh, same name. And I'm going to select the table, this, which is the registration table. And now, um, well, this is the, the, the crucial point. Um, you have to set the allow insert to only, which means that of all these things that a user might be allowed to do, the only thing he can do is he can insert a row and nothing else is uh, supported. So you cannot delete, um, you cannot update. Yes, you can update, you can update your inserted row but you cannot select another row and then update that row it's all not possible so you can only um, add a new row to the registration table the table which is selected here now let's save the changes to the database and uh, go back to our list now here's the registration form now i'm, I'm going to copy the uh, short code and I'm going to paste that into the registration page. So I've already prepared a registration page. This one. Going to select shortcode type, add the shortcode. So and that was it. And now um, let me see. I will copy this link address and open it in another browser. That is because otherwise all my personal credentials will be visible. Um, so let's go to the uh, registration form. Um, ah, some information is still there. Um, so you can see that the, the gender is um, a, a list box and that is because my uh, gender is defined as an enum uh, so the, the the values that are in the enum are represented in the list box and uh, the the date of birth is um, uh, okay 16 December uh, I'm a bit a bit older than that so like that um, and then um, my mail address is uh, of course not my real mail address. I want to three four, uh, and I can here here by with interest I can select multiple values. As you can see, there's a, a kind of list box as well, and that is because it is a set. A set allows you to uh, select multiple values. Now let's uh, save the changes, 
Um, and as you can see, I've now uh, created an uh, editor registration and I can still uh, change this registration uh, while, while I'm in this uh, page. But as soon as I'm going to lose the, the, the focus to this page, uh, so let's say I'm going to another page, if I come back then to the registration page, then my data is gone and it's no longer retrievable for me. You can create, of course, your own uh, registration table and add your own elements. Um, you will also need to do some CSS styling, I guess. Uh, but I hope this helps you uh, to create a registration form for your web page.